Thanks for joining me for this demonstration of the Express API Editor, part of Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. I'm going to switch right over to MCS and start this out. I'm going to go to our API section. And now instead of just new API, I have an option. I can use the traditional API editor, or now I have Express APIs. So I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to get into the editor. So here I see the general things that I just entered, but the important tab is now the resources. Instead of going in and entering endpoints, which could just be a random collection of REST endpoints, now I'm doing things that are business object centric. So here I'm going to create a new resource or a new business object. And here, this I'm going to use opportunity. I also want to be able to get a list of opportunities as a collection. So here I'm going to provide the plural. So now I'm presented with a view that lists my resources down the left and their details on the right. So here in the overview, I can see some of the information I just entered. I can see its child reference, child resources and reference resources, as well as any parent relationships it has. And it's defaulted and created a bunch of methods for me to list, find, create, edit, and delete elements of that object. So now let's go over to fields. So here now I can create fields that define my base resource. Okay, so I've got the fields for my opportunity object or resource. I can see the default methods that we already talked about. But here I have the opportunity to deselect these. So if I didn't want to expose the ability to create an opportunity or edit an opportunity, I could just unselect those. You'll notice in the overview, if I unselect that I want a collection, if I go back to methods, both the create and the list are gone. Okay, but for this, I actually want them. Now let's go and enter some sample data. Okay, it tells me I don't have any sample data. So now instead of just pasting JSON, I now have a much more structured method of doing this. So now I've created this resource with some sample data. Now let's go in and look at maybe list opportunities. So I can click into this method. In the list opportunities, I also want to be able to support creating parameters. Also, the response, right now, it's returning complete opportunity resources for the list. Sometimes that's not advisable. Maybe I only plan on showing some limited data. I don't want the extra cost of returning all of this data. Let's shape this. I don't need the products, and maybe I don't need the expected close. I only want the name, the region, revenue, sales stage, and win percentage. And if I want more responses, I can add those here. Okay, and I can set the media type. So now I'm able to shape each one of my methods, the create, the edit, for example. So here I can see I can edit the ID. Well, in my instance, I don't want to be able to edit the ID. It's set once you create it, so I'm going to modify that. And again, I can also add parameters here. The response is still returning the whole object. So now I've set up my opportunity object. Let's create another object called account.
Okay, so I've got my base fields, my base methods. Again, I could go and um, restrict these. I'm going to leave those alone. Okay, so I have some data. So now what I want is I want to relate these two. Okay, when you request an opportunity, I want a child object that returns the account related to that opportunity. So I'm going to add another field for the account, but this time it is a reference. And this reference references the account object. Now you can see I've got a reference set up here. And we'll go in and show this. But let's look at the methods now under list. The response for this still is shaped to what I had, but now you can see there are more fields that could be selected. So this is nice. I don't want all of the account information to come down for every row. But when I do a find on an opportunity, I do want the whole object. I want all of the account information to come down with it as well. Okay. Now for opportunity, there's one more thing we want to do. We want to create a child resource. Note. So this actually creates a note child opportunity. And we'll get into the difference between a reference and a child in a second. So now I can see for note, it has a parent resource of opportunity. Opportunity is a child of note, so it lets you see how your things are related. So now, when I request an opportunity object, the account object will be embedded inside it. Okay. So every time I return an opportunity, the canonical opportunity, I will get an account object embedded inside the JSON. As opposed to a note, okay, which is a child I'm going to have to make a separate call for notes. So it will be opportunity you'll see for note it is slash opportunity ID note. And this get will list all the notes for the opportunity. So I've got my thing set up. Let's go look at the ROM. So really what we have is an editor that creates the ROM, just like you did before. If I really wanted the endpoint view, I could go here and see the view that you might be used to and see the endpoint view. Now that we're done creating our API with the Express API editor, let's take a look at the ROM. One thing to note, is when looking at the ROML view, this is read only because you need to edit things using the editor. So first, I'm going to scroll down to the opportunity collection schema that got generated. And you can see it's only got the attributes that we shaped. If I scroll back up to the entire singleton for opportunity, you can see it's got all of the elements, including a reference to the account. So the entire account object will appear here. If we go down to the, the actual endpoints, here we see slash opportunity and the get, and this is going to be the list. It says list opportunities. Here we see even the sample data has been edited to only include the attributes that we wanted. If we go down a little further and we look at the get for slap slash opportunity slash ID, we see all of the sample data. And similarly, all of the other schemas have been created here for me based on what I edited in the editor. So now if we want to test this, we can simply hit the test button. Yes, I'd like to save it. 
So now I'm in the tester for list opportunities. If I hit test endpoint, you can see it is returning me exactly the sample data. Okay, I haven't done an implementation for this yet, so it's really just kicking back the sample data. But you can see this is what it's going to return. Okay, so we've completed our Express API. The next step would be to add the implementation just like you would for a normal API. If you want to do anything advanced, you can also just download the ROML and actually create a new regular API and start it with that ROML. And you'll get exactly the same result, except you'll have uh, a full API and you'll be able to edit the ROML as normal uh, if you need a backdoor. Thanks for joining me for this demo of the Express API Editor, a feature of Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. We look forward to having you try it.